In this country, the Ukrainian-Canadian Congress has sent an open letter to the Prime Minister calling for more action against Russia from Canada and other allies. Alexandra Hitchie is the National uh, President of the Congress. She joins me now. Uh, Ms. Hitchie, thanks for t taking time to speak with me. Uh, let me begin with your reaction to these, these awful images uh, of, of this alleged Russian atrocities that are being carrying out in Ukraine that we've seen emerging from Ukraine. What's your reaction to what you're seeing? Uh, absolute horror. Um, I, uh, I was beyond tears yesterday. I was not able to sleep because those images just played over and over in my mind. Um, and while I'm horrified, I am not surprised. This is uh, right out of the Russian playbook. It is not the first time that we have seen this happen. We saw it happen in Chechnya, in Syria. And we can go as far back as World War II to find previous examples of this barbaric uh, kind of behavior. Hmm. What responsibility do you believe that Western nations, including Canada, uh, should bear for what we are now seeing in Ukraine, um, which, of course, suggests civilians have been murdered in cold blood? What responsibility do you think Western nations bear? I think they bear a lot of moral culpability for standing by and just waiting for it to happen. Uh, we have been warning that this would happen. Uh, it was predictable. Uh, we know what Putin himself is capable of. And by drawing red lines that they were not prepared to cross, they just gave Putin the red light to keep going and going. And unless we take away his crayons and we start drawing the red lines, this is going to continue. What more do you want to see by way of action then from Canada? Uh, absolute commitment to arming Ukraine. Uh, if the world is too afraid to fight Putin, the Ukrainians have demonstrated that they can and will do it, but they need arms to do that. They need the support of the West to provide them with the weaponry, particularly air defense systems, naval defense systems, so that they can bring an end to this. If this doesn't stop, if this war doesn't stop, the barbarism will continue. As you know, the measures you've called for um, have largely been, yes, the West is trying to supply Ukraine with more weaponry. Um, how, how's Canada performed on that front as far as you're concerned? Well, Canada has given what it could. We understand that Canada's defense forces need to be buttressed, but Canada can contribute more with uh, funds, with loans to Ukraine to assist them in purchasing what they need. They can also serve as a mediator with their allied, with our allies in encouraging them to give more. If you look at the spending of the United States in other arenas, uh, even though the contribution has been great, uh, it does not compare to the spending, uh, military spending that the United States have expended in other areas over the past five mm. years or so. The Minister of Foreign Affairs said today that Canada will support the International Criminal Court investigation and, and that more sanctions are coming against uh, uh, nine Russian and Belarusian officials. Uh, no firm commitment on providing more lethal weapons. That's being looked at. Um, how disappointed are you in Canada's response? Uh, I, I am very disappointed because uh, sanctions are the slow drip for a dying patient. Uh, as long until there is a full trade embargo, uh, we know that the European Union, Germany and Hungary continue to feed Putin's war machine and he is laughing at our sanctions. Uh, there needs to be a complete embargo and isolation of Russia, not uh, this, uh, you know, five individuals here, five individuals there. This is hardly the response that I would expect in the wake of such horrific horrific atrocities. So when you hear the minister say that, you know, what uh, we're prepared to fund the international court investigation and so on, um, but that the West isn't taking more immediate action to, to engage Russia, wh what do you think of that? Well, prosecution is a long-term game as well. Uh, we know that the investigation and the convening of the court and the hearings and the trial uh, leaving aside the complexities of whether or not such a trial can actually take place in absentia mm. in the International Court of Justice, there may have to be another forum convened, which will take years to do. 
Um, and in the meantime, this war must be stopped. And the only way to do that is to arm Ukraine. There were five very brave and courageous uh, female MPs uh, from Ukraine who visited Canada last week, and they went home empty handed. And I was I was ashamed. How come? That Canada that let them go home empty handed. These are women who left their children and their uh, their husbands at home. One of the MPs had an app that kept going off with air raid sirens, you know, that her uh, she had left her two year old son in the care of her elderly father. Uh, and here she was. She had taken the time to come to Canada to beg, to literally beg for Canada's assistance. And we sent her home empty handed. Alexandra Hitchi, the um, head of the Ukrainian Canadian Congress, uh, I want to thank you for your time tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you.